Hey, my name is Phil from GoHighLevelAccelerator.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a double opt-in flow in Go High Level. Now, this is a very important process because if you are sending emails and for some reason, people might be putting in fake email addresses or simply not opening your emails, this can actually hurt your deliverability rate, which lowers your score and unfortunately, you might start ending up in the spam box. That's why we need to ensure we have a warm audience inside of our email list so our emails always go to the inbox so what I'm gonna do right now is jump behind the screen and show you how to set it up okay so here we are inside of my dashboard now to save a bit of time I've gone ahead and created a simple lead generation funnel basically what I am doing inside of here is offering a free training for anyone who's interested if they give me their name and email address. Now, usually this is a two-step process. We have the opt-in page where they put in their information, and then we have a thank you page, which is going to actually deliver the content to them. But what you'll probably notice is when you do some offers like this, people will usually put in a fake name and email address just so they can watch their content, but not actually put in their correct email they just want to see the content for free they don't want to receive any emails from you so that's why we create a double opt-in flow and all we really need to do is create a second step inside of here and let me just show you what this says so you get an understanding of what it says it says confirm subscription before we send your free training you'll need to confirm your subscription and it has a little bit of instructions down here to confirm simply open your email we just sent you and click on the confirm subscription if you can't find it check your junk folder Right, so it's actually really simple. What's gonna happen here is if people have come to that first step, if they've put in a fake name and email, but they really want the training, well, guess what? They're gonna probably come back to the first step, put in their legit name and email, just so they can actually receive the training. So it's pretty cool. It weeds out a lot of fake people. And let me show you how to set that up. So the first thing after building your pages inside of here is actually creating some automations. Now the first one is going to trigger once they send the form. And I've just named this as simple as possible so you understand. So double opt-in demo and to confirm. So this is the step they will enter once they first get into your funnel, right? So there is the form there which is going to trigger once their details have been received. They're going to have a tag added and for this tag I've named it the double opt-in demo not confirmed. So basically they have put in their name and email and they've been sent to the confirmation page. They've been tagged and if they don't confirm it then eventually we can just delete the people inside of this list or we will just never send them an email. It's very straightforward. So once they have their tag, it's then time for the email. And the email is also very straightforward, right? You've got your from name, your from email. I've just been using custom values. They are incredible inside of high level. And the subject just says, please confirm your subscription. And then down in the actual message itself, what it says is, hey, contact first name taken from the form. To receive your requested content, please verify that you would like to subscribe to our emails confirm your subscription and then what I'm gonna do is add in a trigger link actually here. So if they click on the link, it's then going to trigger another automation to send them the content. It's also gonna tag them and everything like that. So to, to actually create a trigger link, what you need to do is come to marketing in your dashboard, come to trigger links, click on links, and then this page appears. Now what you can do is click add link, enter a name, and then you wanna enter in the URL of the third step. So for this example, I've got the third step page. I've just copied the link for preview. This isn't currently linked to a domain. Usually you would take the uh, link that's live up here, so that's cool. But what you want to do once you have the trigger link saved is come back to your email, right? And then come to the trigger link tab. And then all we need to do is click on the trigger link itself. And now it has been added, right? It's going to take the trigger link from the step and inject it into this page. And then we can go ahead and click on save action. 
So that's pretty cool. Make sure you go ahead, click on save. Now the first part has been added. This is basically the double opt-in flow. And the last step we actually need to do is add in inside of our new automation, which is for confirmed users. If we come inside here, we just wanna add the trigger, which is now going to be double opt-in confirmed. So that's super easy to do. Choose trigger link clicked. Uh, rename it to whatever you want so I always just name it what the uh, pretty much the action is trigger link is choose your trigger link like so click on save and now every time that trigger link has been triggered they will have a new tag I just put in double opt-in demo because I know these now are confirmed and then we can go ahead and send an email with the actual content right so they will they would have already been redirected to the third step but we are sending it to them as well so it's really simple and let's actually go and test it out so what i'm going to do is come back to the first step i'm going to go and click on preview okay so let's type in my name i'll just change it up so we can distinguish as i've got the custom values so i'll just say bill and email i'll just put in hello at iamphilwilson.com click on get instant access and what's going to happen now is we will be redirected to the confirmed subscription page so at the moment i can't see any of the training and in just a second i should receive a email saying confirm my subscription so let's go ahead and grab that here it is right so hey bill to receive your request of content please verify that you would like to subscribe to our emails confirm your subscription here is the trigger link right so let's go ahead and click on that and see what happens so what should happen now, we should be redirected to the free training, which we have. And in a second, I'm actually gonna to go to contacts real quick. And as you can see, double opt-in demo not confirmed. In just a second, here it is. I just got the email, I'll click on reload, right? And the trigger links obviously just kicked in, okay? And now the second tag has been added. And if I double click, here is the new email which once again is going to redirect me to the training that I've already received. So you can see how now I have got a confirmed subscription. Now I know they're ready to go. The last step I actually do once I know the automation is working, once I know all the tags are working, is come back to the final automation, which is the double opt-in demo confirmed. And that's when I go ahead and add in one more automation, which is remove contact tag. And this is where I will take the not confirmed tag and I will actually remove it. Now we are good to go. Now our automation is completed. Double opt-in flow is working and now you can keep your list super clean so your email deliverability will be on point so you can stay in the inbox and get more conversions. And there you have it. That is how you create a double opt-in flow inside of Go High Level. Now, the cool thing about this is once you've created it once, you can duplicate the automations, you can duplicate the funnels, things like that. So it's actually really easy to do. The first time is always the hardest to set up, but now you've done it, you're going to be a pro. So if you want some bonus resources, I have got the exact snapshot with the assets that I've shown you here today. Make sure you go ahead and grab those for free down in the description as well as some other bonus resources and training but that's it for this video my name is phil from gohighlevelaccelerator.com and i look forward to seeing you on the next one